everyone this is mary welcome back to my channel mama bear prepper you guys i am back to fix these canned goods i got another little cardboard box about the same size as this one i was able to do in one of my last videos so i'm simply just going to put that on top and i'm going to go ahead and go through these canned goods right here the blue runner style red beans i'm going to put the latest expiration dates in the back which is my 2024s Okay, now I have some 2023s. And since I only have one of the navy beans, I'm just going to put him right here all by his lonesome himself until I get him a cardboard box with some more of this kind, the navy beans. All right, so I've done that. Doesn't that look so much better? And so I'm all cluttered right here. Let me see if I can zoom out a little bit. All right, so I have these, you know, the McCormick slow cooker seasonings, and I have some of the gravy mixes. I am going to get me some Ziploc bags and organize this in Ziploc bags. Now, I'll put all the turkey gravies together in one bag, all the brown gravies in one bag, and so on and so on. All right, so let me find me some Ziploc bags, and I will be right back. Okay, so I have all my turkey gravies here. I made me a bag just for turkey gravies. Keep it plain and simple, you know, so you know exactly how many turkey gravies you have. Now, all of these are by December 2022. So if I had one that was for Best Buy by February 2022, I would put that in the front. And any like 2023s, I would just put it in the back because you want to make sure you rotate through your preps. And then right here, since the bag is clear, if I have any that needs to be used soon, I can tell, pull it out and make sure you are using it, you know, rotating through your preps. Okay, so that's the turkey gravies. Over here, I have one for brown gravies. See, 423, 423, 423, 723, 723, 723. So these are all in order. I'm going to go ahead and just stick these in here. Okay, all of my brown gravies. Over here, I labeled this one pot roast slow cooker, but I'm just going to ignore the slow cooker part. So just anything that has to do with pot roast, I'm going to put it in this bag. Uh, let's see, let's put these in order. So 823 needs to go behind 423s. Okay, I have one for the, I don't know how to say that, the au jus gravy. I don't know if I'm saying that right, but um, I have two of those, both with the Best Buy 423. I'm going to stick that in one. Then I only have one of the slow cookers. The hearty beef stew, so I just label this one beef stew. All right, so I have all of these nice and organized. For now, I'm just going to stick it right here until I get me a cardboard box that will fit these in there perfectly. Kind of like this, this pizza crust one right here. Kind of like this one. Just so I can have like a little filing system of them. So next time I go to Walmart, I'm going to snag me up another great value pizza crust mix box. All right, you guys, so I'm over here in my prepper pantry. Um, this is a mess. I was working on organizing all my preps, so everything that I was, you know, that was out of place, I was just putting right here in this area until I can get to this part and then work on it, if that makes sense. I don't know, but I have seasonings. I'm just gonna go ahead and move these seasonings out of the way for right now. I'm just gonna put them further down here. And as you can see, I have some vegetable beef soups. Um, let me just put this to the side for right now. Over here, I have these Campbell's Chunky Soups. This box will fit these perfectly, so I'm going to go ahead and put these in here. 
All right, so there is different kinds and different Best Buy dates. Since I don't have a lot of each kind, I'm going to go ahead and stick them all in this one box. So let me see, I have a June 2023. Let me put that back there. I have a 10-22. Let me just look all the dates. A 1-22. So I'm going to put my... I'm going to put my 10-22s back there. I have a 9-22 and a 1-22. So I'm just going to stick this like this. And so I can clear off this little section and then I can push this on back. See, I have a peanut butter. Oh, I need to put this up here with different kind of condiments. That's where I'm just going to stick that for now. I have more seasonings. You can never, ever have too many seasonings. I'm going to show you what I'm going to do with all these seasonings when I get to this. I, I have a little something planned. I don't know if it's going to work out or not, but I'll show you when I get to it. Now I'm running out of room. I need some room in here to work with. Okay. I have one little thing of raviolis left. My daughter has been eating these and y'all I've been eating them too. For some reason, like we'll just go through phases. Like we don't eat this all year, but then like maybe once a year, like we just really want us some raviolis and that's all we will eat all week. It's just raviolis, you know? I don't know if any of you guys are like that or have kids like that. Or do that yourself, but that's kind of like what we do. <laughs> we'll go through our phases of stuff, like phases of soup, phases of ravioli, um, canned spinach, whatever the case is. So I have one of these. Actually, I might be able to put that with this since I don't have many of each. Then when I do have many of each, I'll better organize it. So let me just try to, oh y'all, I'm dropping stuff here. I have another peanut butter. This is my favorite peanut butter. It's Peter Pan. Um, okay, so I'm going to stick this way back here. And now I know exactly how many Campbell's Chunky Soups I have. So I do need to get more and add to this. Okay, let me grab. All right, so now I have another little cardboard box like for the smaller soups. So in here, I can go ahead and fix these. Like I don't have as many vegetable beef and beef with vegetables and barley soups as I did with my chicken noodle soups to organize that all together. So these, I'm just going to put by the Best Buy date. So 822, 822, 822. Um, let me try to put this like that, okay. I have a 222 and a 1221. So I might just pull this out in a little bit when I'm done and bring this in the kitchen. All right, so I have these soups right here, all nice and neat. I know exactly how many of those I have. Last three cardboard boxes I took from Walmart. They're kind of unique in size. So I have one like this. I don't know if you can see it. And then I have, yeah, the other two will be like for my Prego sauces. Um, I will show you that when I get to it. But for now, I'm just going to go ahead and stick my little, you know, my little ravioli and macaroni and beef products in here until I get the more, more of the cardboard boxes and I can better organize it. So that's what I'm going to do for now. Let me just do this out of the way. Y'all, it's just no matter how much stuff you have and how much room you think you have, it's just, it's never enough. It really is just never enough. Okay, so I have 10-22, 10-22, Oh, and here's another little ravioli guy. Where's my other one? Did I put him? Or was this it? Was this the ravioli guy? Okay, I don't know, I'm getting confused. I'm just gonna set them all right here so I know all this is like kind of similar in um, canned goods. All right, let me pull out these spinaches because I wonder if the spinach will fit in this. Uh, not exactly. Um, let me try this one here. Okay, so the spinach might fit better. Oh, and if you can see this. Oh yeah, the spinach will fit better in this size cardboard box, the Prego one. So I'm gonna go ahead and use this. Yeah, I'm gonna use the Prego box for my spinach. No, I'm sorry if this video is all over the place, but there's really <laughs> nothing I can really do about it. I'm just trying to jump into it because if I don't jump into it and I just think about it too long, I'm not gonna do it. I will procrastinate, okay? That's just how I am. All right, I'm gonna move these. You see all these seasonings? Let me show you all that. I have to work on all that. I have to get some more cardboard boxes for my fruit cocktails and all the next time I go to the store. So let me move these on over somewheres. 
Okay, and I just want to say as I'm moving all these uh, seasonings, y'all, if you have not tried this for shrimp, this is so good. It is so good. The magic, the shelf. Oh, I'm falling here. Come on, camera. Okay, I have my camera set up in a really weird way. Um, this, y'all, this is so good for shrimp. If you love shrimp like I do, this is like one of my favorite seasonings to use for shrimp. You know, I'm just throwing that out there just to let you guys know. My favorite. All right, so I have these already kind of set up by date, but I just can't reach them. I'm just going to try to pull them up some. Okay, I have my box here. 23, 11, 23, 11, 20. Oh, this one's dent. You see how this one's dent? I'm going to get my marker and circle that and label that it's dent and try to, actually, I have a pile of things that, you know, as I come across that's dented or that's about to be used up first that you need to rotate through first like this. I just put that in a separate little location so I know that I need to work those into my meal plans for the week or month or whatever. Let me grab a marker and I will be right back. Here's my handy dandy marker. Y'all, I just seriously cannot live without these markers. <laughs> I use them like crazy in my prepper pantry. I go through so, so freaking many of these just with my canned goods, my Mahler bags, all of that stuff. Oh, these are just, you know, I just can never have too many of these. All right, so I'm going to, I like to like, kind of like circle where it's dented. And then I'll just put dent, okay? You can draw an arrow too if you like. All right, so I'm kind of debating whether if I should pull this out or not because it's a very small dent. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. I mean, I know if it was really badly busted up to use it first and make sure it's still good, but if it was really badly busted up, I just would not have bought it in the first place. But um, this one, it kind of got away from you. <laughs> you know, as you can see, I'm just going to go ahead and leave it in there and see you guys let me know what you think in the comments down below. All right. Let's keep moving. 11.23, 11.23, and 11.23. All right, let me see if I can move this. Let me move these over here. Okay. All right, and then these I'm just going to simply put Right up here like this all right so I need to take note that I need to get another prego box because the prego boxes you know if you can't find one that these come in these prego boxes fit these size cans really really good all right let's see what I have here the next box size I have is this size I need to try to figure out what can go in here and like fit these circles perfectly so I'm kind of making sure I use every single space and slot in this box. Okay, y'all, look what I found. I found a whole bunch more of these gravy packets. Remember how I just did my little Ziploc bags over there in the beginning of the video? I'm going to go ahead and put these right over there, and we're just gonna go back to this step probably at the end of this video, organize these more, make a bag for chicken gravy. And I know I already made bags like this. Oh yeah, because I keep them in my kitchen, the ones that I have to use now and rotate through. But these are at a later best by date. So I'm gonna keep these in the prepper pantry. So let me go put these over there by the other ones and we'll get back to these, okay? Okay, so I found what I can fit into this size box. Um, I have a few of these pineapple size cans. So that's what I'm going to go ahead and do is throw these over here. So my latest best by date is November, 2023. I'm going to put that in the back row. And then I have a, oh, no I don't, let's see. All right, so my latest best by date is actually 524. <laughs> okay, put those in the back. Let me see if I have any more. All right, so I have the 524s. What is next? It would be 1123. Uh, 11, 23, and then 12, 22s. 
All right, so that's the only size ones I have of this right here is I have six. I have six this size. Um, oh, wait, here's another one. Okay, so 523, that would be right here. Okay, so that is all of the pineapple ones I have for this size. I'm just going to go ahead and leave it like this because I really need to get some more boxes the next time I go to finish this little section. Um, it takes time, y'all, taking these boxes from Walmart with every trip, you know. Uh, let me see what else I have. Okay, so I know I'm going to need some different size ones for like pears, fruit cocktail, peaches, and pears. So I have those I'll have to work on. Um, I have a whole bunch of little fruit cocktails. These are so good. Yeah, so that's really just where I can leave it for today. Um, as you can see, it's still looking like a mess, but I'm just trying to organize it. And I can't finish organizing it until I have all of these little cardboard boxes to neatly stack them on and uh, just for it to look better. Okay, and look what I found, you guys. More gravy packets. So this must have been a way I was doing it in the beginning, but I just can't fit too many in here like this. So I'm going to take these out also. Um, see, these are already past the Best Buy date, June 2021. Uh, well, just those, I guess, but you know, they should be good way past the Best Buy date. I'm going to pull this out. I'm going to pull those out and make sure we rotate through those first. But I'm going to go ahead and just put them into those Ziploc bags. You know, let's, let's just go do that. All right, so this is all the other gravy packets I just found. <laughs> um, let me go ahead and organize these real quick. So I have a chicken, turkey, 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 brown, Turkey brown, brown, chicken, chicken. Okay, let's see, brown gravy, brown gravy, and onion gravy, brown gravy, brown gravy. Onion spaghetti mixes, these are good. Um, two of those, turkey gravy. Turkey, turkey, brown, brown, brown. And then another brown gravy. Oh, another one. Okay, so let's see if all these turkey gravies will fit in here or not. I might have to get a bigger bag, which I think I might just have to do. Let's see. But first, we need to put it by Best Buy date. So 822. Let's see, 823, 823, 5, 8, 8, 8. Eight, five, five. Okay. Yeah, I think I'm going to have to get a bigger bag. Yep. All right, let me just grab a bigger bag. I'll be right back. Okay, I have a gallon Ziploc bag labeled turkey gravy. Now I can go ahead put these in here. The only thing I don't really like is that they're out of order now. Like they'll just mix around in here, but that's just the best I can do for right now. You know what? I'm going to see if I can be able to take some of the cardboard boxes that they have in the store that these are lined up in. Yeah. I think I'm going to do that. That would make it so much easier. So when I go buy some, I'm going to buy a couple. And I'm just going to put it in the box. I'm going to put the whole box in my cart, in my shopping cart, and just take it. All right. So that's all the turkey gravies. Now the brown gravy one. Um, I took another large Ziploc bag. I'm going to just label it brown gravy. That O makes it look like an A. Brown gravy. Oh, this is all messed up. 
<laughs> okay. All right, so where's my brown gravy? Okay, so this was my brown gravy. Okay, these were in order. Now I need to organize these, so 822, 623. These aren't labeled. 621, 621. I'm just gonna go ahead and leave these two out. So that will go in our pantry right now, the kitchen pantry. 623. Okay, I'll, oh, that's a chicken one. All right, 623s can go between the four and the 723s. are really tricky to find the best by date they're really hard to see at the bottom right here so that's 6 22 that's why I always write it as soon as I get it this one got past me for some reason this one is 6 22 as well that's why I like to write it big enough so anybody can read it Right, let me just throw these in here. Let's see, 622s would be before the 23s. Then 822. Okay, so I got these. Two big ones right here. Got those. <sighs> See the pot rose. Those. All right. So actually, I think I'm just gonna leave these out until I get those cardboard boxes instead of wasting more, more bags. Yeah, because I don't think I'm gonna keep it like this, y'all. It's just there's a lot of playing around with finding different kind of methods to store stuff until you find something that you like. So like before you seen, I had it in this container. This container is not big enough. So then I went to this size bag, still not big enough. Then this, um, but it's just too bulky and too, you know, I'm gonna get the little boxes that these come with in the store the next time I go. I need to write that down so I don't forget because I will forget. All right, so I'm just gonna have to leave these like this until I get some more boxes, you know, the little boxes it comes in so I can make sure it's all nice and lined up and neat, like a little filing system. And until then, I'm just gonna leave it like this. <sighs> I don't like it a mess, but I have no choice. Um, and then I still have to get the cardboard boxes for my spaghetti jars, all sorts of stuff, y'all. So there will be plenty more videos to come from the Pepper Pantry. All right, you guys, thanks for watching. Keep working at it. Do little by little. It does all add up over time. You know, just, you just have, if you think too much about it and you're not going to do it, you just need to jump right into it. That's just, that's just what you got to do. If you're anything like me and you just procrastinate and procrastinate and put it off for whatever reason, just jump into it and do something. Okay. <laughs> Trust me. It works. All right. Don't forget to like, subscribe and share. Um, until next time, you guys, thanks for watching and take care.